No way. For prostitutes. Prostitutes really? literally, yeah, we're in this room. Oh, what the f***? Dude, that's the freaking safe right there. What's up guys, I'm Osarji, welcome back to another video. I'm starting my intro in my car today because it's snowing like crazy outside. Welcome to Canada, bitches. Check it out, today I'm actually going into a abandoned strip club. I've never been inside of an abandoned strip club before. Um, I don't think Jimmy has either. But the reason why this strip club is actually really special to me, first of all, I don't go to strip clubs. I never have. I mean, the only time I ever really went to a strip club is when I was forced to go there when I was 18 years old. I went with an ex-girlfriend. It was her birthday and she forced me to go there. I was literally there for five minutes and chill and I was like, yo, I'm out of here. This is gross. I don't like strip clubs. I'm going back to that very same strip club. It became abandoned and I'm going back there to relive my five minutes of terrible, terrible times inside of that strip club. So smash that like button. I want you guys to take the biggest strip pole that you can possibly take. Smash that like button. I want you guys to take the biggest stilettos that you can possibly take. Smash that like button. I want you guys to take a stripper and smash the like button. I'm just joking. Kids, if you don't know what a strip club is, don't watch this video. Let's get inside. All right, guys, I'm inside of the abandoned gentlemen's club, and I decided to not have any edit cuts in this video. So I'm gonna film this video all uncut and we'll see what happens. See what we find in here. I just walked in. It's freezing cold, and there is an upstairs, there is a downstairs. This place is super duper massive. But hey, let's see what we find in this place. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is definitely the place that I've been to. Holy moly. Wow. It's an actual abandoned strip club. This is so cool. I've never I've never been to an abandoned strip club before. This is my first one. So it's kind of cool. By the way, my friend Jamie, aka Rhythm Rider on YouTube, hooked me up with this location. So thank you, Jamie. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. Smash that like button. Like literally, take a chair, smash the hell out of that like button, take a table. Smash the hell out of that like button. Take a stripper pole, smash the hell out of that like button. Take Jimmy's head, and smash the hell out of that like button. Because if you don't smash like buttons, then what the hell are you doing here? Smash the shit out of it. I'm just messing around guys, but really, smash it. Look at this. Dude, I remember, I came here for my ex-girlfriend's 18th birthday a long time ago, like a really long time ago. We sat right here, and then all of a sudden, this chick gets on stage, and honestly guys, it was my first time ever to a strip club when it was active and it was my last time ever. I hated it, it was gross. I just didn't like it, I, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't wanna be here. So, but now that it's abandoned, I'm more than happy to be here because this is cool. It's abandoned. I'm gonna go up, upstairs and Jimmy, I dare you to lick the stripper pole. Come on, Jimmy, thousand dollars. What would you do? Thousand bucks? Thousand dollars right now, cash. Look, there's an ATM, there's, they've left an ATM. What? How is there still an ATM? I don't want to touch it in case there's alarms on it. Look at this, this is the bar where you would get served alcoholic beverages and Jimmy likes to order orange juice everywhere we go. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's literally his drink of choice. Orange juice. Wow, what the heck is that thing? Yo, this is scary, man. I don't know what this is, but it's scary. It looks like they would hide like a camera in this or something. Pretty creepy. Pretty, pretty creepy. I've always wanted to be behind a bar of a gentleman's club. I don't know, what's the proper term? Do you call it a strip club or do you call it a gentleman's club? We'll find out once YouTube demonetizes this video. What? <gasps> it's a secret room. Look at this. Okay, never mind. It's just a fridge. I'm such a freaking. I'm, I'm funny because, like, I'll find something and I'll make it into something. Like, this is cool. This was a, a fridge, 100%. A weird fridge, but it was a fridge. So, let's go back out here. As I said before, this video is going to be uncut, unedited. And uh, hopefully... Yeah, yeah, that's a no-no. Hey, Jimmy, you know what you are? This on the ground. I don't say that. You're that? I didn't say nothing. What do you mean? I didn't say nothing. 
All right, look at this, guys. Making our way down here. There's a cash register on the ground. This is super cool. Oh. <gasps> Did you just throw? He scared the crap out of me. Did you just throw that? I swear I didn't throw that. You're bullshitting me. That wasn't up there, bro. That was over there. Holy shit, dude. Upstairs. Yeah, but the fans, the fans are moving. I'm pretty sure Jimmy just threw that. You're messing with me right now. Anyways, moving along. Wow. Oh, look. There's definitely a basement underneath us. Making my way on the strip pole. Yeah. Should I do it? Should I dance? I don't want to dance. For Bro, look at how destroyed the strip pole is. It's like got scratches all over it. Most likely from like people's hands and while wearing rings while they're spinning around the pole. Jimmy, you would know something about that, right? Yep. Guys, look at this. This is cool. An abandoned strip club. I doubt it's haunted. I mean, it could be haunted because of, you know, everything that <laughs> I have a really bad mind. I have a very, very, very twisted mind. Um, yeah, forget I said anything. This is kind of gross though. I would never want to touch these poles because they're probably filthy and you can probably get ligma just by touching it. Yes, you heard me right, guys. If you, I touch this pole right now, I will get ligma and I don't want ligma, really. I don't want ligma. It's the worst thing ever. It's the worst disease to contract. I don't want it. Anyways, moving along. Jimmy, what do you say we go upstairs and see what's upstairs? Yeah, but I just need to play some. Huh? You're a nutsack. A nut sack. <laughs> All right, making my way upstairs right now. And these are very, very narrow stairs. Oh, this is the DJ booth. Why are the fans on? That's what I want to know. Why are they on? Creepy, right? There's, is that a camera up there? No. Look at this. That's the DJ booth and everything is left behind. Why did they leave everything behind? I think... From what Jamie told me, is they were, oh yeah, that's why. So this place was actually a drug dealer's den, and a drug dealer's hideout, and a drug dealer's business. I'm not gonna name who, because I don't wanna get killed, but my friend Jamie told me that drug dealers ran this place, and which is why police close it down outside. You'll see lots of police tape um, outside of the building, which I'm not gonna show. Whew, why am I out of breath? Anyways, they left this place in a hurry, so they've left a lot behind. And the basement has really something really, really scary. So I need you guys to stick till the end of this video so you can see what we found or what we're going to find down there. And yeah, NAS service. I don't know what that is. Look at this. The DJ booth is here. Like, this is cool. Awesome. <laughs> Pickles are green. I love your legs and what's in between. Oh, my God. Okay. Pretend like we didn't see that. Pretend like we didn't see that. Moving along. It's time to leave this upstairs part and go downstairs. Oh. <gasps> What the heck is this? No! What? The lights are on here, bro. Why are the lights on? This is the women's room. Jimmy, please do not lock me in this door. As you guys know, we were recently in an abandoned prison in Florida, and Jimmy locked himself in a cell. I had to go and buy sledgehammers and bail him out. If you haven't seen that video, the link is down below. Go watch it. It's a really crazy video. It's super long. Um, Crystal's locker right here. Someone, Sage. Oh my God, this is the dressing room. This is where all the dancers and the girls would change into their outfit. So, <laughs> outfits, uh, as you guys can see, I'm not editing this, so I'm just going with the flow. And I don't even think I need my light right now. This is cool. Yo, what's out here? I'm gonna write most RG with here, right here. Mo, Sarji, was here. There we go. Mo Sarji was here. 1892. I always do that. Why you scared the crap out of me, bro? This is where they used to change into their outfits. This is. It smells bad in here, right? Literally smells very, very weird, but. I heard the dancers' rooms were, yeah, this is the private room. Oh my goodness. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit, dude, this is where they would have. Okay, so alongside of this place, it was a drug dealer's business, but also it was a prostitution house in here, which is illegal in this country. So they actually literally had prostitution in here, which is crazy. Jimmy, come see this. What else is going on in here, man? Look at this, two beds. 
inside of a strip club. That tells you. Oh, look at that. Caught him on the ground. Uh oh. Keep it safe, kids. Keep it safe. Damn, man. Oh. Were you trying to throw that dirty underwear? Yo, this guy was trying to lift up a dirty underwear and throw it on me. That's gross. Dude, go see what's inside this room. There is literally two beds in here. No way. For prostitutes. Prostitutes literally, yeah, we're in this room. Oh my goodness. And look, you have the shower here. You got the couch if you want a nice lap dance. You got... The window's covered. I know, they've covered every window with like... Yeah. Wow, this is interesting. All right, this is a new one for me. I've never been into any abandoned place like this before. Very, very new to me. Let's see what else is inside these rooms. More lockers, I'm guessing. What is that? Is that somebody's undies? Uh, nope. Not much going on in here, just another locker room. And this one belonged to Natalia. Ooh, okay, nothing in here, cool. Really hoping my wife Shadia doesn't get mad at me for filming a video here. But I mean, it's an abandoned building, right? So babe, if you're watching this, I love you. And yeah, man, yeah. Daddy, daddy's just coming to film a video, you know, that's all. I don't know if you guys can see that, but daddy was here. What's in here, Jimmy? I don't know. I don't know. This looks like, Jesus Christ. Jimmy, what's with you and doors? I don't know, you have to Stop slam slamming doors, so I love God. And, haven't you learned your lesson from the prison? Never let a door stand behind you. Jeez, it's like this guy purposely wants to get stuck in these you places. Know like sledgehammer holes in the wall because like, I feel like when the cops raided. Yeah, the cops raided the place and they were searching the place. But you know what's funny? I just, yeah, I just seen that it says Mo Sarji was here and I forgot that I wrote it and I almost freaked myself out. I was like, yo, what the hell? What the heck is going on, man? This is cool though. What's back here? So, looks like I might actually have to put an edit cut in this video because I want to get some cinematics in. I might just wait till the end of the video to get them, but I'll just wait till the end of the video. What's in there, Jimmy? Staircases. Staircases? Cool. Jesus Christ, are you okay? Yeah. Be careful. Look at this, guys. They've left, like, lipstick and the glass in there. Is there anything in these lockers? Q-tips. Babe exposure. Damn. This place was a naughty place with more underwear right here. Anyways, looks like there might be some edit cuts in this video because Jimmy just found something very disturbing and uh, I don't, I don't want to show it on camera. That was really, really bad. I might show it. No, I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show it. Anyways, I'm going to get some cinematics before we head down to the basement. There's something super duper scary and creepy down in the basement. So there will be an edit cut because I do need to get cinematics. So I'll see you guys down in the basement. All right, now that I'm back down on the main floor, I haven't gone down the basement just yet. I haven't explored any of these rooms. These are actually all toilets. What is this? No drugs allowed in this establishment. Yeah, right. And this is why you guys closed down because y'all was selling drugs in this place. But there's one more room in here that I haven't discovered yet or explored yet, not discovered. Not this one. What'd you find, Jimmy? No. What'd you find? Check it out. Check it. Well, like, what is what this? What haven't we seen yet? Uh, a private room? Is this it right here? This room has got a tent on it, so it must be a private room. <gasps> Yo! Whoa! This is where you come to get lap dances. Literally. This is where you come to waste all your money. <laughs> $200 for one song. Not very private, eh? Not that I would know anything about that. $200 for one song. I mean, I, I read it in a magazine somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving along. I mean, this, these are kind of really close to each other. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be private. It's kind of filthy, too. Oh, shitty, that chair is. But you would literally catch Ligma just sitting here. Ugh. Really creepy. And really disgusting, too. But hey, I wonder if this Purell hand sanitizer works. Nope, I'm probably frozen because it's so damn cold. I wonder if anybody's dropped any money here. Alright, let's go down the basement, Jimmy, and see what we can find down there. I'm going to try to keep the video uncut from here. I don't know why I'm breathing so heavy in this place. Right? It's a weird, weird feeling. But yeah, let's go down to the basement. I'm gonna go through this door. Very cool though. What's in here? You tried it locked? Damn. I hate when there's locked doors. Hey look. Underwear. Check it out you guys. Just found another pair of underwear. Gross, but I mean, this was a strip club. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, that's the freaking safe right there. No. Holy shit. 
Oh my god! Oh, everything is left behind, guys. Look at this. We just found the safe. Oh, it doesn't open. It's probably like rusted. Oh my god! Look at this. It's the safe. There's probably so much money in there. Yeah. Oh my god, it stinks down here. Lots of mold. I don't want to be down here for too long. But look at this. This was like the hardware room, I guess. Why do you need that in a strip club? I have no idea. Really weird to have all this inside the basement of this place. I mean, maybe at one point, this fine establishment did something else before it became a strip club. I don't know. I find that hard to believe, though. But there's like a secret room here that brought me to I don't know where. Alright, let's go see if we can find something else. Because I've seen a hallway with what looked like other rooms in this place. Huh? This is cool. I did not expect this. The floors here feel like they're about to cave in. And although we are underground, we're in ground level. This is where they kept all their chairs. Pretty neat cash register stuff. A lot of receipts. Whoa, they kept all the receipts down here. Damn, I bet they can't get this stuff because the cops seized this place a long time ago, apparently. And look at this, I just found some sort of secret room over here. And this is the beating room. Yep, 100%. So, drug dealers own this place. Secret room in the wall. Stool. Secret room door. You know, people were tied up here and probably be beaten, unfortunately. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Look, look at that. There's a wire here. I'm not going to touch it because I don't know if it's going to be electrocuting, but there's a stool. Yo, Jimmy. Yeah. This is the room where they would tie people up, man, guaranteed. Yeah. Or keep their Christmas decorations, but you know they definitely tied people up here. Don't touch this. It could be a live wire. I don't know. 150%. Bro, look at all those certificates right there. Oh. Dang. Never seen this in any abandoned place, but hey, it's cool, right? Moving along, let's see what else there is inside this place. I kind of want to get the hell out of here. I'm getting a weird vibe. Getting a very weird vibe. I'm not talking like a haunted vibe or a paranormal vibe. Although this place is freaky. I'm just getting a vibe. I don't want no drug dealers to come back to this place while we're in here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're about to get the hell out of here. I tried to keep it as uncut as possible, but I did have to get cinematics, which is why I had to cut sometimes. Um, let me know if you spotted something. You never know. This place might be haunted. I don't think it is, but I'm getting the weirdest vibes from here. But I'm thinking it's because I'm kind of scared because this place did belong to drug dealers. It's an abandoned strip club. You know there's probably drugs somewhere in the walls left behind. You know there's probably money left behind that the cops missed. The cops did raid the shit out of this place. And they did kind of tear it apart as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Smash that like button. Take a freaking stripper pole. And if you don't have one, take any pole. And if you don't have a pole, take your fist. Because sergeants are here. Sergeants are strong. And we're back in full force. Smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Live a little. I love you all.